Google Drive is a storage space for files and folders located on the web. All Kinesia students, faculty, and staff have a Google Drive as part of the web resources available to them through Kinesia's College. This video shows the very basics for professors and staff interested in learning about Google Drive. This video gets you started with the bare essentials. See our other tutorials on the web for details on specific features or procedures when using Google Drive or its onboard tools like Docs, Drawings, Slides, and Forms. You may have your own Google account, most often attached to a gmail.com email address. If so, this is separate and unrelated to your Canisius Google account and drive. The quickest way for faculty and staff to reach their Google Drives is via the portal or My Canisius. Once you're logged in, check the left-hand side menu, My Applications, and you should see a link to Google Drive. Click it and you're automatically logged into your Canisius Google account, and it opens your Google Drive space. You need to be logged into your Canisius Google account in a browser to see files others might share with you at your Canisius email address, ending at canisius.edu. If you receive an email in your college account telling you that someone has shared a file with you via Google Drive, it will contain a link you can click to access the file. But for various reasons, this isn't the best way. If you're not logged into your Canisius Google account within your default web browser, you'll receive either a login screen or a screen telling you that you need access permission for that file. The latter screen is indicating that you are signed into a Google account, but it's not your Canisius Google account, so you cannot access the file. Plus, there's always the possibility that the email could be a spoof trying to get you to do something like download malware. So the easiest way to handle the situation is not to bother with the link in the email. Instead, go to My Canisius, log in, check the My Applications menu, and click Google Drive. Once you're in your Google Drive, click Shared With Me on the left-hand side. This will show you any and all files that anyone has shared with you via Google Drive and your Canisius email address, with the latest file at the top by default. The most basic thing that Google Drive does is the same thing your local hard drive does. It stores files for you. You can access those files on any computer or device that's connected to the internet. You can also organize them into folders. Here at the top level of my Google Drive, I have a set of folders and there's folders within them that contain files. I also have two files. This is a Microsoft Word.docx file. And this is a Google Doc, native to Google Drive. I can upload more files to my Google Drive in several ways. For smaller screens, this is probably best. Click the blue New button and choose File Upload. I choose the file I want, make sure it populates the file name box, and click Open. Google uploads it to my Google Drive space. If I have a larger screen, this is even quicker. I'll make this window a little smaller so that I can see my computer's desktop behind that window. And here I've got some files. I just click and drag a file in and release it. And it's uploaded to Google Drive. Google Drive can store many different types of files, and it's ideal for sharing larger files that are practically too big to send to people as email attachments. It's also a great place to put video files since they play back without downloading. Just as I do in my local hard drive, I can organize my Google Drive files into folders. To create a folder, I click the blue New button and choose Folder. I'll give it a name. Click Create, and here's the folder. I can change the color of the folder icon by right-clicking on the folder and choosing it from the menu. Moving files and folders around in Google Drive is easy. Click and drag them. 